by order of the Emperor of Nilfgaard for the murder of the wounded, looting, cannibalism. You are hereby sentenced to death by hanging or torment. <laughs> Take the reward and let's go. Help me! Knew you witches wouldn't scorn imperial gold. Tough hunt. Tougher than yours, that's certain. Evil is evil. Lesser, greater, middling makes no difference. Me. Bring her down. Do it my way. You like that, you bitch? Get the hammer. Get our teeth in. The degree is arbitrary. The definition's blurred. If I'm to choose between one evil and another, I'd rather not choose at all. Just make it quick, Garrett. What the? Hello and welcome to my Witcher 3 music and sound effect review. The Witcher 3 will always be my favourite single player game, mainly because of the story but a lot of because of the music. Being a single player game, CD Projekt Red Team could really go in detail with the music which they did, with a total of 35 different tracks all played throughout the game, showing different emotions and feelings. Marcin Krivelovic was the composer for the soundtracks of the original game, Expansion Pack 1 and Expansion Pack 2. The 32 year old composer received a Young Talent Scholarship in 2007 that was funded by the Polish national TV channel TVP. Marcin's work for The Vanishing of, e of Ethan Carter was also nominated for Excellence in Audio IGF 2015 and an Outstanding Achievement in Sound Design 2014. I think it goes without saying that his work on The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt already won both the players and critics' hearts worldwide. Moving on to our second song, named Forged in Fire. Like a lot of songs mentioned, this song is very fast paced and has an explorative feel to it. While listening, the player's heartbeat rises and the mood becomes tense. With the use of short bursts of the violin, the player always feels alert, which is, which is good as this song is only played in higher level areas of the world. Similarly, when travelling across the huge landscape, the player will more likely be riding Roach, Geralt's horse. This means the player will be travelling much faster than normal, and although they are not in battle, can relate to the fast paced song. Another song like this is called Silver for Monsters. This song more played when Geralt enters an open location played with darkness, or that has a general dark theme to it. Although Forged in Fire doesn't use a lot of female vocals, Silver for Monster does. However, they still give the same general effect for the player. This is because of the continued fast paced repeated high pitched tune. We move to a more emotional track called Wake Up Siri. Players who really got into Wish of Three's story really felt the moment they finally found Siri. 
Geralt's daughter figure, who he had trained to become a witcher. After the agonizingly long journey, Geralt finds Ciri laying motionless on a bed. While the player is being filled with sadness, realizing all their work and effort has been for nothing, the music is emphasizing the feeling as the soft violin and flute harmonically whisper to your ears. However, in the last 15 seconds of the song, the tone of the music starts to pick up. The player realizes that this isn't how it ends, as the light that guided Geralt to Ciri enters her and brings her back to life. Although the music doesn't necessarily have a hearty pickup, the soft violin still suits the mood as she is revived. This is because although Ciri is alive, the player knows all the problems of that follow must be overcome. This next song is used over the fight with Imlareth. According, accordingly named Welcome Imlareth, the music is slow paced with heavy drums and a low tone. This represents Imlareth's character being the muscle of Eredin. The sisters said you would come. They saw you arrive in the water's surface. His right hand man who carries a massive mace and shield. The fight lasts fairly long as Imlareth's health is very high. But having a very dragged out song, the repetition doesn't seem noticeable in the game. Especially during the cutscene, the player can really appreciate the well put together timing of the music and the sound effects of his head exploding. I really like this track as well as the cutscene. They both play in well with the heartwarming achievement of obliterating the enemy's skull. Well then, try, Witcher. <laughs> On to Expansion Pack 2, Blood and Wine. The game introduces vampires on a much larger scale. The Witcher 3 world already has types of vampires roaming the world, interactable through various side quests, however Blood and Wine, the main story quest, is based around hunting and killing a higher vampire. Being a higher vampire, the music needed to suit the mood, and had to be much more grand to symbolise the vampire's status. Although when fighting the final boss, the player doesn't really notice the music in the background that much, as they're being attacked by a giant fleshy vampire. However, it still does its effect and makes the battle much more enjoyable and intense for the player.
Anyway, thank you for listening. This has been my presentation on The Witcher 3 soundtracks. I hope you enjoyed and uh, see you later. Ooh! <laughs>